Hello everyone. In this video, I'd like to go over the multiple lenses workflow that they talk about in the manual, the Doc McMech PDF. And this has a set of images I have open over here. First five are calibration images, not used for the 3D reconstruction, but to define a camera. And that the first set is the 10 millimeter camera. And then from there, there's a mixture of 10 and 17 millimeter images that are used for the reconstruction of the street. And finally, at the end, there's seven images for the uh, 17 millimeter camera to define its calibration. Okay, let's, let's get started. Start the Big Mac interface, clear the files, and copy those images. Of the street St. Martin. Select all the images. Tells me I have two focal lengths. That's the 10 and the 17. And there's 25, there's 35 millimeter equivalents inside the images. So we're good to go. I'm gonna start by going to the tapioca. Let me open this up. And because there's three sets of images, there's the 10, mi 10, mi 10 millimeter calibration, uh, the street scene images, and the 17 millimeter calibration. There's gonna be three sets of tapioca runs. And to uh, set it up, set it to all, and uh, 1000. And I'm going to clear the selection and select the first five images, which are all 10 millimeter calibration. And go ahead and run that. OK, that's done. That was this first command right here. And for the next command, select the street images. So I'm going to clear the selection again. Select the first street image. And the last, shift and click. And that's the combination of seven and 10 millimeter street images. Same settings, uh, image size of 1000 mode all. And run that. All right, the run is done. Nine minutes later. And that was actually the third command that I just ran. I'm going to go ahead and clear the selection again, go all the way to the end and select the 17 millimeter calibration images and run again. Alrighty. All three tapioca runs are complete. You can go on to the next step, which is the tapaz runs. As we go over here, we see it's already checkmarked it as two lens workflow with calibration. It does that uh, by default if there's two lenses found. And we want the fisheye equa mode. And we're going to select the 10 millimeter calibration images first. So I'm going to clear the selection, go to the start to select those calibration images. I have the first operation selected above, and I'm going to go ahead and run it.
right, 10 millimeter calibration is complete. And next step, we go to the next step in the operations for the what I call the detail calibrations. I'm going to clear the selection and select the 17 millimeter calibration images and run that. Okay, that's the 17 millimeter calibrations completed. Now the next step, we run the pause on the uh, actual street images, but there is a problem in that AutoCal, if you use the AutoCal mode, it just fails for some reason probably because the way to pause works has changed over time since this instructions were written. So I'm going to go on to the next operation, but instead of using AutoCal, I use Fiji. And this one will run without the error that AutoCal gives. And I'm going to set the focal length to 9 to 11 because I want the 10 millimeter focal length images only. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, clear the selection, and select all the street images. Oh, and one more note. There was another fix for this, uh, for this error that occurred at this step, and that was to use old to pause option shown here. And I recently found out that this has been removed from Micmac, so this doesn't work anymore. All right, just a little side note. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, now orientation for the 10 millimeter images is complete. And what the user interface does in the back end is this copy command they show here in their instructions, which uh, combines the results of the 10 millimeter and the 17 millimeter results into one. So it can be fed into the final orientation run which is what we're about to do right now. So I want the orientation final. I'm going to change the mode back to fisheye equa. Clear out the focal length because I want all the images, the 10 and the 17 millimeter. And then selection is still the same. Is the street images. That's all set to go. And go ahead and double check that. Shaiqua in Nori. Yeah, good. And run. As yes, I do want to continue because talking about the calibration images, I don't want them selected for the final step. Right, 20 minutes later, and all the calibrations are complete. And the final step in the tutorial is to run a paracloud. So I'm going to go over to a paracloud. I'm going to keep the same selection. Don't need the calibrations to create the 3D image. And 
quick 3D preview. Alrighty. And here we have a cloud. Go ahead and that's the end of the tutorial in the manual. You can come down, take a look at where the cameras are. I'm going to make the points bigger. Okay, and in the name of completion, I'm going to go ahead and mask out this section of the cloud and make a dense cloud from that. So I'm going to click Make 3D Mask. Build that up. The mouse wheel in to zoom into the area I'm interested in. It looks good. Got a selection, point selection. Left click to draw out a polygon. Right click to close it and space to select those dots. And we do one more selection. Again, left click to fill the points, right click. This time I'm going to delete everything outside the polygon. So we just have the little street section here selected. Go ahead and save selection info and exit. I'll go to the dense cloud reconstruction, uh, change it to Big Mac. It's already set to use the mask and run it. And done. Uh, 12 minutes has gone by. And in a few seconds, the 3D display should update. Or not. <laughs> Okay, and after a little pause, I'm back. Uh, my computer ran into some trouble for some reason. So I had to restart the program and then just use the load mesh button here to load in this C3D3 Big Mac PLY file. But here's the final result of the uh, dense cloud reconstruction. And that looks all right. And a little uh, recap. Started out in tapioca, getting the tie points for the 10 millimeter calibration images, for the 17 millimeter calibration images, and then on all the street images in between. We went over to pause and using the two lens with calibration workflow. They had a calibration with the 10 millimeter images and did another calibration with just the 17 millimeter images. And then we did the orientation local um, using the focal length min max to only select the 10 millimeter uh, street images. And then for the final, we removed the focal length restrictions and did the full calibration on 
all 10 and 17 millimeter street images. From that point on, I ran the Apericloud step to do a sparse cloud to check the camera locations and to see if we got a good result. And then I added on the 3D mask and a dense cloud run with the uh, Big Mac mode to get a dense cloud. And then my computer failed and I used the load mesh file option. to load in the result to see it. And we can see it's about uh, 1.2 million points were generated by the uh, C3D3, or C3D3, dense point cloud calculations. And that's gonna end this video. Thanks for watching.